Hi, I'm Arun. I'm Chris, which saves the day, and you're watching Amplified TV. It's, it's pouring all day at Reading today. We, that's what we heard. Woof. We just made it out of there. We were there yesterday. It was amazing. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, go through yesterday's set. How was that? Oh, it was awesome. We had 45 minutes, so we got to play a ton of music. I mean, we must have done like 18 we songs. Did 15. 15 songs. So we tend to just uh, not, just, we just kind of cram them in there. We want to yeah, play as many as possible and, you know. One after another. You know. And, uh, and it was rad because uh, right after we were done, the Bouncing Souls went on, on the same stage, which was cool for me because I grew up going to their shows, so it was like sharing the stage with my heroes. So yesterday was pretty special. Okay, so did you get a chance to, um, to watch those guys? Yeah, we watched them and then uh, we had we were whisked away for some press during, you know, halfway through their set, but uh, came back and caught the end of it. So, caught some of the cure yesterday. Wow. And, I'm, and just as a Cure fan growing up, like that was, that was just what I'm, I'm gonna do it again tonight. It was I'm unbelievable just, gonna just to plant see them park somewhere and just, uh, yeah. And Can't our wait. friends in Paramore were amazing yesterday. Yeah, Paramore. Was Absolutely incredible. amazing. Um, as always. Yeah. Yeah, the, the main stage you see is quite good. As you can hear, Coheed and Cambria yeah, are over there right now. Yeah, it's they're awesome. doing great. Um, so are there any other bands that, I mean, obviously it's the same lineup for you guys today as it was yesterday in Reading. Any other bands that you're looking forward to maybe getting a chance to see, or is it just going to see like The Cure again and stuff like that? Oh, I, I want to see The Cure again for sure, but I did not get to see Graham Coxon yesterday, and I oh, really nice. like The Blur. The Blurs the are blurs. one of my favorites. <laughs> and uh, the, the Hives would be kind of interesting to see because I've heard they put on a pretty cool show. Uh, but I've never had any of their albums. So I wouldn't say I'm a fan. Just want to see it. Uh, I want to see Paramore again. Touche Amore, good, good buddies. I definitely am excited for Graham Coxon. Anti-Flag. Anti-Flag. Uh, yeah, Bouncing Souls again. Uh, who else is on? Uh, you know, I'm kind of... I was hoping to catch Coheed tonight, but uh, or today, but you know. Sorry. We can we can hear them. We can yeah, hear, hear them. They sound. They sound great. Yeah. They need to put like a window in the in the fence so we can have a look because the main stage is literally just we, just yeah, over there. We yeah. were just in there, like they had it on the big screen, so I caught. I felt yeah, like I could, caught enough. We watched it a little bit in there. <laughs> yeah. You can hear it from there, but you yeah. can see the screen, so that's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So let's let's talk about your festival day then. So obviously you get to see all the all these bands that you've you know you've who your influences or you've enjoyed you as fans of. Um, but what about, how do you prepare yourself for your set? Bottle of red wine. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, that's that's first. Uh, I think we all have like individual routines that we all do, and that's for like any show. Um, just very, various ways of warming up, you know, and just kind of getting into a, a show mode and, and, and in that frame of mind, you know. And it's, a, it's different for each of us. Is, and is there anything else on your rider other than that bottle of red wine? There's yeah. another bottle of red wine. There's another <laughs> bottle of red wine. Just in case. Right. And, you know, we have typical beer, water stuff. We, we get, like... We get snacks. Healthy stuff, like nuts and vegetables. Okay. Well, that's Salad good. That's good. It's always good to know that people yeah. have healthy things in their rider. Okay. Um, so let's, let's talk about your music. Um, you guys had an album out last year. Is that right? Daybreak? Yep. Yeah. It came out in October or September last year. September. September. Cool. Um, so how's the album been? Is it has it done well over here or? Yeah, I think it's at least like two or three times platinum in my <laughs> dreams. Uh, no, it's I, it's I think the album is awesome and our fans really love it and we're just stoked that we get to continue to tour on it. You know, we're still playing those those songs and we you know we haven't been told go back into the studio right away. So that's great. We get to take our time and make another album when we want to and you know, that'll be sooner than later actually but this is our third time over over here uh in the last year and a half and we've seen uh you know since the record came out like each time uh more and more fans are just singing along the new stuff and, yeah. like like they sing along to the old stuff and, yeah, and are great. just as excited uh i know you know for us we're really proud of the record and 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 i think at the end of the day that's more important than anything that's going to be charted or you know 
any of that stuff. So for us, it's... That's how we help ourselves feel better. Right, that's how we sleep at night. Who needs the charts anyways? Yeah. I don't know what that stuff means yeah, anymore, but like, you know, you know, we're, we're happy that our, our fans that, you know, have been following the band for a long time have have taken really well to the new record. So, so you see the, 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 the record is, is kind of growing in, in the fans' eyes, but you're also just about on the ready, on the cuff to, to do the next one, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think we want to we want to constantly make new music. Yeah. And we had to take a few years in between records be, just because of logistics. There were so many ups and downs with the band. Uh, but now we've got a really strong group and we're ready to keep going making records every year or year and a half and tour all the time it's gonna be good we did a good amount of touring on on this last record and it just feels like it feels right to do another one right now and that's you know yeah we're excited about the music so we want to just yeah. do it now there's no reason to wait right that's right okay um so you guys have been together in one form or another for like 14 years now I was like 15 15 15 um, now that means, in this country at least, people who were born when you started can legally drink. Um, <laughs> so like, how has your fan base changed over the years? Because... Yeah. Uh, they're a lot drunker. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's... Legally at least. Right, legally. What's, what's funny is that um, we get people that discovered us in the 90s that still come to the shows. And they're in their early 30s now or late 20s. And they're starting to have kids. But then if they had younger siblings coming up in high school, they'd hand off the records. And then you'd see their younger brothers and sisters coming to the shows. So over the years, we've had fans that grow old with us, and then we constantly get new younger fans as well. And they relate to the, the older albums because they were written when I was younger, and then we'll you know, when they're in their mid-twenties, they start listening to the stuff I wrote when I was in my mid-twenties. So fortunately, we have such a wide variety of music that I think it, it works on a certain level for any age group. I mean, I'm probably not like old folks. We don't get many of them at the gigs. But uh, maybe if we can still be abandoned 30 years, we'll get old folks there coming was, out. There was an old dude, an older gentleman at Portsmouth. He was, was at it? least in his 50s. Oh, it's fantastic. And he was singing along to everything. Just to my left, I was We've like... We've made it. I thought it was somebody's, you know, cool dad that brought their kid to the show. And no, he was just... He's rocking out. He was like right to my left, just singing along to everything. I thought it was the coolest thing. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Um, any other weird kind of... Or crazy fans that you've seen in the, in the crowd? Any, any outrageous things you've watched while from on stage? Well, I mean, naked stage divers, you know, just people acting dumb. No, I said I said crazy things. Is that not crazy? That's pretty normal around here. That seems totally crazy to me. Uh, alas, moving on. Um, we we don't have too many like nutters that come to our shows. Uh, other than like us. Yeah. Um, but I mean, probably the craziest thing that happened was like a year ago we were on tour with the Get Up Kids and there was like this biker gang outside the show in the car park torment tormenting our fans like threatening people and then they started beating this one guy up so our bass player Rodrigo went in to save the guy our fan and he, he broke it a, up but he got his he took face a sucker punch smashed the face. I mean, his nose. Bro his nose was like all kinds of broken. He spent the night in the emergency room. Wow. And I mean, stuff like that never happens to us because we're not aggressive guys. So I mean, that was pretty crazy. That yeah. was pretty. Cra that's that's yeah. pretty crazy. Uh, that's a, that's a pretty good answer to that question. Uh, well, that's that's a great way to look after your fans. Just yeah, we, take one to the mouth. We we we'll, care uh, about you. We'll yeah. we'll support you when you're. We are the band that will fight for your honor. On the ground. <laughs> that's one for that album cover there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, final question. We always ask bands at festivals. Um, you get to pick your lineup, your headlining. Who is playing with you, past or present? Oh, gee whiz. I, I don't yeah, know if I... It's like, open? save the day fest. Yeah, well, people only say, yeah, you can open and watch the rest, but... Okay, great. It's we'll, your festival, then. We'll open and then uh, watch the rest. How about... Existing bands now? Anybody, any right? Band. Can be a few of them or past okay. bands as well. Sunny Day Real Estate, Jawbreaker, Jawbox, Smashing Pumpkins, Green Day... Aerosmith, Blur, Led Zeppelin, Blur, Radiohead, 
Oasis. Let's just put them on there. Throw them in there. So you With know they're gonna, they're gonna take off in a helicopter after right. the show. Um, uh, Two separate helicopters and going off in different directions. The Beatles would, will be headlining. Right. And um, then uh, Robert Johnson would be playing in the car park after the show. Right. There you go. Hey, that's a pretty nice. Night. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Um, enjoy your set on the lock-up stage later today. All right. Save thank the day. You. Thanks. Come on.